Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement the interactivity of this control panel we have created. So with the power button we can turn on the stove and using this plus and minus buttons we can control the intensity of the heat. You can see the amount of the intensity shown with this bars and I can increase it with this plus, decrease it with this minus and if I press power button again it turns off like this so this is what we are going to work on today this uh, widget uh, which this is actually a world space widget if I close the game you can see this is a UMG widget but I am using it in world space so that's what we are going to work on today and we are not going to work on the actual flame here we are going to focus on this widget so yeah and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel from the patreon page once you become a member you can access everything without any limits so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and this project is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support all right so this is what we have worked on so far if i play i can turn on so this switch turns on you can see it in green this becomes red to show that it is on and i can turn off so next thing i want to do is using this plus and minus button to control the intensity of the flame so first we will show the ui component where these bars will fill from here right left to the right and that will do we will do that first part i'm not sure if i can do the flame control also here so yeah so first thing is here we are just using a single image and with that we can't control the amount of bars shown here so let me create a material with this m stove intensity right and i'll change this to user interface final color okay and i'll change the blend mode to masked so we can oh no let me open the image and see do we have transparency yeah we do have uh okay so so as the background also black we don't see that if i change this to checkerboard yeah now we can see all right so the next thing i want to do is i need a way to control what is shown here based on a parameter from left to right i need to increase uh, i need to reveal this image so get text code Component mask get the x and here i'll multiply this with the uh, with some value that i derive based on the x coordinate so here i'll let's add a if yeah if condition and if this r is uh, here larger than a given point let's make it zero otherwise let's make it one so let me promote this to a variable yeah scalar parameter what should i call it mm -hmm. flame intensity maybe not flame 
8. If it is larger, I'll make it 0. If it is less, I'll make it 1. Or equal. So now this is 0. If I make it 0.5, see, we see only half of it. So if I make it like Point three, three, we only see one. Point six, six, we see two. One, we see all. But the reason that I use point three, three because one divided by three is zero point three, 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 three. Something it goes infinitely, and point six is is one divided by three multiplied by two. So something like this. So I'll make the default to zero. So we don't see anything here by default. And then, oh, let me just make it, no, I'll leave it at zero. Apply. Now let's use this material here. Store intensity. So, see, we don't see anything here. I'll rename this IMG store intensity. Okay, now let me create a function update store increment. So in density as a parameter, I'll add change. And let's add a variable store intensity. This should be a float. Get the store intensity. Add this change. And set store intensity. Uh, maybe we need to clamp this. So Lot so mean intensity is of course zero. Uh, we I don't think we need to make it. Uh, let's make it a local variable. Mean intensity, but it is zero, and this. Max intensity. It should be three because we have three steps. Okay. Now we need to set that value. In a normalized as a normalized parameter with this heat intensity so let me copy this parameter name and I need the reference to that material this is a variable so IMG store intensity get dynamic material and set Scalar parameter value name is this heat intensity and the value is I can get the store intensity 
and divide it by max intensity. This will give us a value in between 0 and 1 and put it here. Now this function should update this scalar parameter. So let's bind this function to plus and minus buttons. Button decrease and button increase. Button increase on clicked. I'll call Maybe instead of calling increment, later we should call it change store intensity. Here the change is one because this is increase button. PTN decrease on clicked. I'll call the same function with the minus one. All right, now let's see. This, yeah, this is already working, even if I haven't turned on the, this, turn on this door. So we need some condition. So first we need to check if the power is on. And we already have a flip flop. Yeah, here. I'll add a new variable. Power on. A boolean by default it should be false. Set power on. So true. Set power off. On. To false here. And. Here I'll call uh, change store intensity with the uh, minus three so it will clear out the pass. And this should only work if power is soft. Let's check. Nothing happens if I press these buttons. But if I press now, you see these buttons are working. I can change this. And if I turn on, you see, now bars are cleared again. Turn on, this becomes green. Yeah, we can interact. Cool. All right, so here is the final demonstration. And next time, Let's work on the flame, controlling the actual flame or heat in the stove as we, as the intensity is shown here. Okay, so thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link could be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.